Hello and welcome to Wilcom's video short series for Embroidery Studio E4.0. Today I'm going to show you how to import in graphics through uh, Corel Draw from the uh, Wilcom Embroidery Studio program. In my program, I'm just going to navigate up to my file drop menu. I'm going to scroll down to import or you can press Control L for the shortcut. And uh, I'm just going to go in and grab one of my designs here. Um, if I go to my file name on the bottom, I can click my arrow here. And you have access, uh, the ability to open up all of these formats here uh, that are listed in this uh, in this menu here actually okay so every every extension here uh, you should be able to open up that particular file into your software and there's quite a bit of them here okay um, and I'm gonna choose the frogart.eps which is a vector file um, EMF is another vector file uh, that you can use and WMF which is a Windows meta file is another vector file that you can open up with as, as, as well as the C, CDR file here for the uh, Corel draw. As I double click I'm going to import it in as a curve so, so that I can edit the object on the screen. So I click OK. I'm going to press enter to center that. Now what I'm also going to do because once I bring it in it is uh, grouped together I'm going to navigate here to my ungroup tab and left click it to ungroup everything. Now, I also have Corel Draw X8 open also. I'm, I'm going to click my tab here. If you have an object already open uh, in the Corel Draw, and this is the independent version uh, from the Wilcom Embroidery Studio E4, if you have an object already here, you can also select it, right click, and copy it. I'm going to go back here, and I can also right click here, and I can paste that. Uh, here as well, so you can copy and paste it from um, Corel Draw independently as well. And I just wanted to show you how to, that you can do that. I'm going to delete this. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is um, I have an outline around my design, and uh, I'm going to show you what can happen sometimes when you uh, create the uh, satin or the, create the border and then convert it. And I'm going to show, and then, then I'm going to show you how I would do it um, to make it a little bit easier. With this, if I can, if I say I want to add or thicken up my border, I can select it here, go up top here to my point size, and I can increase and thicken up that border here inside the Krill Draw. Now I'm just going to convert this over, and I'm just going to show you the differences in how the conversion process works. Um, by creating the border here inside of the Corel Draw, now I'm going to just select everything. I'm going to navigate to my Convert tab here, and I'm going to left click. It's going to take that over into the embroidery side, and I want you to see I'm going to change the color of the outline here just to show you what. Now see how it converted the outline? If I press the H here in reshape tool, you can see, and I'm also going to press S to hide the stitches, and I'm going to press Shift D, or I'm going to click up top here to show vectors to hide the artwork. So right now, as you can see, all of the node points that were created from uh, making the border in Corel Draw and bringing it over here. Now you still have access. I'm going to press S to show the stitches. I can still, while in reshape mode, press my Control key down. And move it on top of my outline and left click it to add an angle so I can go in and actually change the angle of my fills this way and I can go around this shape and do the same thing even here and just moving the angle the shortest distance across like this so and this is another way that I can actually go in I'll have to do this several uh, several other times to get this to work I'm gonna zoom out of here by rolling my mouse button backwards and so it's going to take a little bit of work for me to go around the whole thing 
and add all the stitch angles to get them to work. Okay. Uh, another way uh, that you can do this, or the way that I would do it, as far as the border, I'm going to undo this. For those of you who don't know, you can undo 256 times in the software. So I'm just going to take it back to the graphic mode. And I'm also going to undo it back to its original form here. So what I would do with this, I would all I would just select everything here. I would not thicken the border up here in Corel in Corel. I'll select everything. I'm going to convert everything here, send it to the embroidery mode. Okay. And you have the option now of going in and just right clicking on the outline, scrolling down to convert and changing that to a column C and then giving it a width as I zoom in it two reference points and you can do it I'm gonna press 0 for full view and I'm gonna press escape to clear so now you can see so when I click on this now and I press H you see because it went in and, and created this as the uh, C column or the column C stitch here now I don't have to go in and edit it like I did the first time so this was a lot easier for me to go in and do it and so now I have uh, and all I got to do next is, is select it here and navigate up to my sequence tab and click move to start so that it stitches first or um, I could just undo it and make it uh, stitch last it doesn't matter uh, because um, if you're wanting to fill everything on the inside first and then do the outside I'm going to zoom in here and sometimes uh, the stitch types here may differ um, I want to use a satin stitch for this so I'm going to click on it I'm going to right click on it here I'm going to scroll down to the bottom to convert and I'm going to convert this to a complex turning stitch on my lower left side of my screen it's asking me for my angle points I'll start here at 12 o'clock here at 9 o'clock and 6 o'clock here 5 o'clock and 3 o'clock and maybe 2 o'clock here I'm going to press enter and I'm going to change this stitch here to a satin stitch like this press 0 okay so now this is how I can go in or you can go in and do a conversion using the conversion tool inside the software and using this to create stitching inside the Embroidery Studio E4.0. I want to thank you and as always we ask that you join us at www.willcomeamerica.com. Thank you very much.